biggest days I've put in for a while. Um, I'm standing here in my uh, plastic baggy feet, walking on my gel coat. Uh, really going to be no other option other than to walk on it today when we put our first tie layer down. But it uh, looks amazing and pretty bloody happy. Pretty happy. It's uh, uniform. It's very, very uh, uh, consistent all the way through. I've got no light patches at all. I actually doubled up a little bit where I found some, uh, some light patches. But I think we're ready to laminate uh, today. Sunday, 16th of July. Wow, big and it's uh, it's pretty cool, but it's not overly cold and the humidity is absolutely perfect. So off we go today, another big day. Shall see invention, Trace, right. how good's that? Yeah, look at that. Couple of kayak stands, mm. perfect. Maybe yeah. cushions today, sir? Yeah, spotlight. Uh, <laughs> Are you being served? <laughs> Are you free? Are you free? <laughs> Um, facts for the day uh, we used a winter grade vinyl ester um, resin laminating resin which was catalyzed at 1.6 percent we had a 58 percent humidity at the beginning of the day and it dropped to around 45 percent by around about 7 p.m uh, that night our temperature never got reached over around 20 degrees celsius so that that's sort of optimum uh, laminating conditions for this particular job The layer that we're laying down here is a 300 CSM or a chop strand matting which is 300 grams per square metre. Um, it was laid in, in sections of around 3 metres. You'll see some small overlaps there. We had to, under the survey standard, allow for a minimum of 30 mil overlap wherever there was an overlap so we made sure that we had complete surface coverage. We did have to uh, walk on our gel coat which is something that uh, we wanted to avoid at all costs. However, it didn't seem to be too much of an issue. We did have a, a couple of small spots that lifted. We were able to re-gel and catalyse and then it was ready to uh, walk on by the time we'd, we'd reached it. But other than that, uh, the day went very smoothly. It was a massive day. We started laminating at around about uh, 9 a.m. and finished at approximately uh, 7.30 that night. So it was a very, very big day. We did get all of the uh, tie layer down with the exception of around about 40 millimetres in the, in the absolute hull line, uh, which uh, we did actually complete the next day. So in coming videos, we're going to be putting these up. Um, we're going to try to avoid doing too much laminating because it's a bit like, in the words of my beautiful wife, Janet, um, it's, it's a bit like washing paint dry. <laughs> However, it's a bit like watching polishing or sanding. This is the type of work that we're doing. It is hard, uh, hard yakka. It's a big day uh, uh, spraying and a big day uh, laminating as well. But we were, did manage to get that particular layer down without any issues whatsoever. So very, very happy with our results. Uh, what's going on? We're laying some glass. <laughs> Look at that. The guys, the team's here. We've got a first layer going down here. Right on. You need more resin on it, Sam? Put your mask on, buddy. Get the mask on. My dad's going free.
Uh, the one regret I have about this particular day is that I didn't set four or five cameras up because I could have got some really good angles when we were working deep down in the hole. The reality is you just can't think of all these things when you've got such a big job at hand. Uh, we did well to get any footage of it at all, to be honest, because uh, I was very, very guarded about walking on the mould and, and setting up cameras, but the, the camera angles that we did get, we were fortunate enough to get. Um, I've tried to always get a good camera angle, but sometimes it's just not going to pan out, so this is the best I could get, so I apologise if it's one, uh, one angle all the way through, but by time lapsing it and cutting it a bit shorter, I'm hoping I'm not uh, losing your attention, but the reality is it is a very, very big job, and uh, there's going to be a lot uh, to come as well, and we're going to try and mix it up with some of the other modules we're making, and uh, a lot of the sort of uh, restorative work we've got to do on some of the other uh, modules, and in fact on the hull and the deck to make it interesting as we go along with this build, but it's, uh, you know, very, very happy with the, the result of, uh, of day one and laminating. Near the local beach, get down to the uh, local dog run and give the girls a walk. And uh, yeah, beautiful afternoon, just absolutely gorgeous, like middle of November, absolutely amazing afternoon here on Jervis Bay. But uh, if you enjoyed this episode, just uh, you know, subscribe down below, and uh, and I'll see you next time on Life on the Mold. <laughs>